uh, if you are a freelancer or you are providing part-time accounting services, uh, you can earn extra income by working as a service provider by implementing Sage Business Cloud accounting software. Especially, this is a cloud-based software. Uh, you can implement the system and support at anywhere and anytime. Uh, and after complete the course, there will be a final exam. Uh, in that exam, you need to implement a system, enter transaction and uh, generate reports. Uh, you will get a certificate if you are achieve the pass mark. Right. Next, uh, we will discuss uh, types of accounting softwares. Uh, there are mainly two types of accounting softwares. Uh, first one on premises or server base. Uh, second one, now most popular one, cloud based accounting software online accounting software or web-based accounting software. Uh, in cloud-based software, there are many uh, features compared with server-based software. Uh, first, uh, it's easily upgraded. Now, uh, when uh, if you are installing server-based software, uh, sometimes uh, if the software, even though upgraded, you are not get the upgraded because it's, uh, it's not linked with uh, your main product. Uh, now, some softwares, uh, uh, there may be need to upgrade. Uh, for upgrade, uh, you need to pay additional amount. Then, uh, this uh, compared to server-based software, cloud-based software, uh, very lower cost of ownership. Uh, sometimes, uh, some uh, softwares, uh, server-based softwares, uh, we need to spend millions to uh, purchase but uh, cloud software uh, compared to server base it's a uh, lower cost then uh, it's uh, cloud based softwares always up uh, you can work anywhere and anytime now if you are install uh, server based software uh, if you are installing your office it's uh, difficult uh, if server is not available or uh, if your office close uh, it's difficult to log in uh, but in cloud-based softwares, you can work from anywhere and anytime. Then uh, disaster assistant, uh, even though you cannot uh, go to office, uh, you can work from your cloud-based software. And uh, no IT maintenance cost, it's very less. Uh, now, uh, for an example, uh, if you are using server-based software, uh, you need to install into a server. The server is also very expensive and you need to network uh, your other workstation, your users, you need to connect. For networking also, you need to spend money. Therefore, uh, but in cloud-based softwares, no need to link. It's already in the web. Therefore, uh, maintenance cost is very less. Uh, next, uh, off-site data storage. Now, if you are uh, installed into an office, uh, server-based so software, that data also store in uh, your office. Then something happens to your office. Uh, it's difficult to recover your old data. And uh, productivity in anywhere, you can log into cloud-based software anywhere and anytime. Uh, then there are several uh, cloud-based accounting softwares, uh, Sage Business Cloud Accounting, Soho Books, uh, MyOB, Zero, QuickBooks, wave like that there are uh, several accounting softwares from this course we will cover sage business cloud accounting software okay uh, then this is our course plan first uh, uh, first one uh, company registration and setup uh, this company and re registration and setup uh, we will discuss how to register for company and how to implement our software or uh, how to implement uh, based on our company. Then second one, master file creation. Uh, from master file creation, we will discuss uh, how to create customers, suppliers, inventory, GL accounts, banks, like that uh, master file creation, uh, we will discuss. Third one, transactions. Uh, from transaction, 
uh, we will discuss uh, customer transactions such as invoice receipts and uh, supplier transactions, uh, payment supply invoices, bank transactions, bank reconciliation. Uh, those transactions we will discuss in transactions. Uh, finally, reports. Uh, from reports, we will discuss uh, how to generate reports, uh, how to generate financial reports, uh, how to generate tax reports, Uh, audit reports, transaction report, and uh, we will discuss how to design uh, reports. Right. Now, uh, we will move to today's session. Uh, first, uh, we will move to company settings. Uh, from company settings, we will uh, discuss how to register for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. First, uh, you need to go to uh, log into this website, and uh, there will be a link for free trial. And uh, you can click that link, and you can enter your details. Uh, after that, uh, you will receive an email from uh, no reply at sage.com. Uh, you can confirm that account and uh, you can log into the system. Next, uh, we will discuss how to activate our add on modules. Uh, in this software, you can maintain your time tracking, time sheets, multi currency, advanced inventory, and deltas managers. Uh, we will discuss how to activate add on modules. Then uh, company details. Uh, when we are implementing a system for our company, uh, from here we will discuss how to enter our company details, uh, additional company information, and customer zone. Under general settings, uh, we will discuss uh, financial years, how to set financial years, uh, that rounding, regional settings, how to set our currencies, uh, then customer and supplier settings item settings, time tracking settings, uh, outstanding balances, and personal information. Next, uh, tax settings. Uh, from here, we will discuss how to set, uh, set a tax rates and how to uh, generate uh, your returns. Next, uh, document and statements. Uh, in Sage Business Cloud Accounting, uh, you can design your invoice layouts quotation layouts, purchase order layouts. Uh, we will discuss how to design your layouts and uh, how to set your document numbers. If you are implementing the system for new company, how to set your document numbers. Uh, those things we will discuss under documents and statements. Next, uh, branding. Uh, from here, uh, we will discuss how to uh, set our company logo to the system. Next, uh, user-defined fields. Uh, we can add additional details uh, from user-defined fields. Next, uh, email signatures. Uh, from Sage Business Cloud Accounting Software, uh, after you invoice, after you enter an invoice or quotation, you can directly email uh, those documents. Uh, then you can design uh, your signatures from email signatures. Uh, next, multi-currency. Uh, from here, we will discuss uh, how to create home currency, how to add uh, foreign currencies. And uh, this is a special feature. Uh, you can maintain foreign customers or foreign suppliers or foreign bank accounts. And uh, uh, if you are creating foreign currencies, you can uh, invoice into your customers from uh, foreign currency. Okay, uh, this is the uh, main dashboard of software. Uh, from here, 
Uh, I'll quickly go through this dashboard. Later, we will discuss uh, about this dashboard. Uh, you can view your pending works and top selling items, uh, your sales history. You can compare uh, current current peer sales, uh, previous year sales, then your bank balance movement, uh, customer outstanding age analysis, uh, customer sales, daily sales, like that. Uh, at once, you can get an idea about your company performance. Okay, now uh, we will uh, discuss how to register new company. Uh, first, uh, you can go to this uh, website, pwholdings.lk and uh, there's a link, free trial, sign up. Okay, uh, you can log into this site, www.pwholdings.lk and uh, click this link, free trial link. Then uh, after that, uh, new screen will display. From here, you can enter your uh, company details or you can enter your contact details, uh, company name, first name, last name, uh, and especially please select uh, Malaysia as country. Uh, currently, uh, that Sri Lankan version is uh, under development. Uh, so therefore, please select Malaysia and uh, you can enter your first name, last name, mobile number, email, password, and you can enter confirm password. Here you can enter this access code. And uh, you can enter uh, what's the system currently you are using and uh, how many years you are doing the business. These are not much important. Uh, you can enter your name. Uh, company name, country, uh, and these details you can fill. Uh, after that, you can tick, I accept the terms and conditions and click sign up. Uh, after you click the sign up button, you will receive an email uh, from no reply at sage.com. Yeah, uh, there's a question uh, uh, from sign up. We have to give our details. Yes, uh, you can enter your details and uh, you can register your company. Uh, and uh, one important thing uh, from one email address, uh, one email address, you can create only one company. Therefore, uh, if you are using uh, now, you have sent your email address. If you want to create another company, uh, please use another email address. Okay. Uh, I'll I'll uh, repeat it again. Uh, uh, you can log into that uh, pwholdings.lk. Uh, log into pwholdings.lk and click free trial sign up. Uh, enter your details, company name, country. Uh, please select uh, Malaysia as your country. Uh, first name, last name, your mobile number, email address, password. And uh, when you are creating your password, uh, you need to create uh, based on this specification that password should be at least six characters long and uh, it should have one lower case one upper case one number and one special character okay uh, capital letter simple letter number and special character like this at or hash uh, then enter confirm your password you can enter this access code uh, from here currently use software you can uh, select any software or Excel, uh, then from years in business, you can select any option from here. And uh, please keep this referral code. 
and tick I accept the terms and condition and click sign up. After you sign, after you click the sign up button, uh, you will receive an email from noreplyatsage.com. Uh, after uh, in that, uh, I, I think we have uh, already sent it to you. Uh, after that, uh, you can create your password. Okay. Sorry, uh, you can confirm your account and you can log into the system. Like that, you can create uh, your new company. After you create your company, uh, you can log into the system and uh, you can use uh, this URL. Accounting.sage1.asia and uh, you can enter your email address, password and click login. Okay, uh, you can type this uh, URL accounting.sage1.asia and uh, you can enter your email address, registered email address and password and click uh, login button. Then uh, you can log into the system. Right, uh, is it clear? Uh, registration and login to system. Uh, if you have any issues with login to system, or is it clear? Right. Next, uh, we will move to how to set up our company. Right, uh, I repeat it again. Uh, there's a question. Uh, actually, uh, uh, when you are entering password, uh, it's not your email password. Uh, we have sent a password to you. Uh, that password uh, you can use for login to the system. Uh, there's another question. Uh, actually, uh, you are login. Uh, we have created a free trial for uh, to practice uh, for software that is uh, three months valid, and uh, you can log in uh, to the system by entering uh, type URL accounting dot sage one dot Asia and enter your email. Uh, you have sent email to us, enter that email and uh, password is uh, pwh at one, two, three. It's a uh, capital pwh at one, two, three. You can enter this password and uh, log into the system. Okay, uh, there's another question. Uh, what should include two years in business and what you currently use? Right, uh, actually it's not much important. Uh, you can select any options from uh, that drop down menu. I'll uh, repeat it again. Uh, I'll share the uh, URL uh, 
and password right uh Okay, I'll quickly go, go through again. Uh, you can type pwholdings.lk and click this uh, free trial sign up. And uh, you can enter your company details. Uh, if you are implementing the system for your company, you can enter your company details uh, or if you are uh, creating a system for your practice, you can enter any details from here. And uh, these, uh, what you are currently use and years in business is not much important. You can select any option from here. Right, uh, after that, uh, you can type accounting.sage1.asia and uh, you can enter your email address and uh, you can enter password. I'll type password here again. Uh, you can type password here and click login. After that, you can log into the system. Right, uh, let's move to uh, change company settings. And uh, one more thing, uh, if uh, that speed is, uh, uh, you can comment uh, speed, it, it's, uh, faster uh, you can uh, send a message or you can uh, send a message uh, if it is fast or if you want to explain again please message okay right now uh, after we create or after we register for software first we need to create enter our company details okay uh, we can enter company details from go to company change company settings uh, select company details and uh, under that uh, you can select company details and from here you can enter your company details. You can enter your company name, telephone number, fax number, your mobile number, uh, contact person. Then uh, you can enter your postal address. Then uh, there are a few options. Uh, first one email now uh, there are under email there are two options use email for communication and second one use no reply at accounting dot dot my as from address now uh, from this system you can email uh, your customer documents such as customer quotations uh, sales orders tax invoices and uh, those documents you can directly email to your customers. Now, uh, now from here you can email. Uh, when we are discussing this uh, transaction, uh, we, we will go through uh, in detail about these transactions. Now, uh, when you are sending emails, this first option is uh, you can tick uh, one of these options. Uh, use no reply at uh, accounting.sage1 uh, my ass from address and uh, if you tick this uh, tick box your customers will receive emails from no reply at accounting.sage1.my okay and if you tick uh, first option use this email for communication and uh, if you enter email uh, enter an email address here your customers will receive from this email address Uh, now, uh, after you log into the system, uh, before login to the system, please use uh, pwh at 123 email address. 
sorry uh, i made a mistake uh, you can enter pwh at pera at one uh, sorry pwh at pera one okay sorry uh, please use this email address Uh, please use uh, PWH, capital PWH, at PERA1, uh, P E R A1, uh, for your as your password. Okay. Uh, right. Now, uh, there are two options. Uh, if you tick first uh, option, use this email for communication, you will receive email from this address. And if you tick second option, uh, use no reply, you, your customers will receive email from no reply at accounting.sage1.my email address. Right. Uh, like this uh, now you can see uh, if you select a second option use no reply at accounting.sage1 system will send email from this no reply at accounting.sage1.my email address okay uh, if you are enter an email address here and tick this option uh, your customers will receive email emails from uh, that email address right next uh, cc uh, from here now for an example uh, if your company owner or your department head you want uh, he wants to get an copy of each invoice you are sent to your customers and uh, each uh, purchase order you are sent to your suppliers uh, in that case you can enter uh, your business owner or your company owner so your uh, department head email address here and tick always cc this email address then uh, when you are sending emails always uh, there will be a cc uh, email to uh this email address on okay uh if you want to send cc email to uh your company owner or your department head uh, you can enter email address and you can tick this always cc this email address right. next uh physical address or other company information here uh, you can enter your physical now if you are a registered address in one location and your physical uh, company in a different location, you can use this uh, physical address or you can enter any detail, uh, your company information uh, in under this physical address or other company information. After you enter these details, you can save your company details. You can enter your company details, company name, telephone, fax, mobile numbers, and contact name, your company physical address, uh, then email address. Uh, if you take first option and enter email address, your customers will or your suppliers will receive email from this address. And if you take 
second option use no reply account in dot sage one dot my your customers or suppliers will receive email from this no reply at account in sage one dot my email address and uh, if you want to cc all uh, your customer uh, documents or customer emails or supplier emails uh, you can take this option always cc this email address and you can enter your uh, cc email address then when you are sending any email to your customer or supplier uh, this email address owner also will receive email next uh, you can enter your if you if you have a different location physical location you can enter that physical address or uh, company information Uh, yeah, there's a question, uh, no, re no reply address is system generated one. Yes, uh, it's a uh, system generated email address. Right. Next, uh, we will move to additional company information. Right. From here, we can enter our uh, statutory information, our company. First, uh, company tax number. You can, if you are a VAT registered company, you can enter your tax number and uh, you can enter your registered name. Sometimes uh, some companies, uh, they are using a different name for registered company and uh, one name for as a company. For an example, uh, mostly hotels. Now you can see uh, Cinnamon Hotels, Cinnamon Grand like that. Uh, hotel name is different, but uh, their registered name is a different registered uh, name okay uh, if you have a different registered name you can enter that name or you can enter your company name then uh, registration number you can enter your company registration number or business registration number uh, then tax office uh, you can enter in inland revenue as a tax office if you are registered for web entity type uh, from here you can select your entity type uh, whether your company is a uh, company limited by guarantee foreign company limited liability partnership partnership private limited public limited or sole proprietor okay uh, you can select your entity type company limited by guarantee foreign company limited liability uh, partnership, partnership, private limited, public limited, sole proprietor. Then uh, you can enter this additional company information, your company, uh, your city, uh, state, and country. Okay, now uh, you can enter your details. Now uh, in your de uh, company details, there may be your name as your company name. Uh, you can change these details and uh, you can enter uh, your company details. Okay, uh, assume you are, you, are, you are going to start a new company and uh, though assume, uh, assuming uh, you are going to start a new company and uh, those details you can enter here. Okay, company name, uh, telephone, fax, mobile numbers, contact person name, uh, then postal address, uh, email addresses, you can enter here.
Okay, uh, first uh, you can enter your company details. After that, uh, we will go move to uh, additional company information. Okay, uh, sometimes uh, your company registration email uh, will go to spam mail or junk mail. Uh, if you are not received in uh, inbox, please check your spam mail or junk mail. Okay, uh, after you enter your company set, uh, company details, you can enter your additional company information. Uh, in additional company information, uh, we need to enter our statutory information and additional company information. Uh, first, uh, company tax number. If you are a tax registered company, you can enter your tax number here. Next, uh, registered name. Uh, when you are register your company uh, under company registration or as a proprietor, uh, you can enter that registered company name. Next, uh, registration number. You can enter your company registration number or business registration number here. Next, uh, tax office. Uh, you can, if you are a tax registered company, you can enter Inland Revenue as your tax office. Next, uh, entity type. From here, you can select uh, your entity type. Uh, if, if you are a company, it's a com uh, company limited by guarantee or foreign, uh, foreign company, limited liability partnership, partnership, private limited, pri uh, public limited or sole proprietor. Uh, you can select this option based on your company. Uh, you can uh, select entity type. Next, uh, you can enter your company city, state, or province, and uh, country. Okay, uh, next uh, major industry code. Actually, uh, this is not relevant to Sri Lanka. Uh, some countries has uh, uh, codes for, uh, industry codes for, uh, based on their uh, industry. And uh, if you have any code here, uh, if you are implementing for foreign company, if that company has uh, industry code, you can enter that code description here. After you enter this uh, additional company information, you can save.
sometimes uh, that major industry code may not display uh, in your screen, uh, but uh, it's uh, applicable uh, only for foreign companies. Uh, therefore, uh, it's not an issue for you. Okay. Uh, after you enter these details, you can save. Next, uh, we will move to customer zone. Mm, this customer zone is an additional feature of this uh, Sage Business Cloud Accounting software. Uh, from customer zone, your customer also can view uh, they are invoices, receipts, customer payments online without uh, login to their login to our system. Now, uh, when you are uh, earlier, also I told you this, uh, you can email your uh, customer invoices, quotations, receipts uh, by email to your customers by clicking this action and email. After you send email to your customers, uh, customer will receive this kind of uh, email, right? With this email, uh, there will be a link. Your customer can uh, view their invoices uh, by clicking this link, or they can uh, download this uh, invoice, or uh, by clicking this link, they can uh, view uh, their invoices. Okay, I'll show you. Now, uh, after you uh, click that link, there will be another window will open. From that, your customers can view uh, their invoices online. Right, uh, they can view that uh, invoice. Uh, if they want to download, uh, they can download. Uh, in addition to this invoice, by clicking these invoices, customer can view their invoices. Right, uh, they can view. Uh, their invoices, invoice number, date, uh, reference, description, total amount, uh, invoice total amount, amount due, and status. Whether they have paid, unpaid, overdue, uh, those status they can view. And uh, from here, show 10 entries, they can view, they can set how many invoices or how many transactions they want to view. And from here, uh, you can see how many transactions there are. Uh, there are 49 entries. And uh, if you want to move to next page by clicking uh, this page number, you can move. And uh, this feature is uh, very important because uh, uh, sometimes in practical situation, uh, sometimes uh, your customers always request uh, uh, your invoices or quotations. Uh, then uh, sometimes for audit confirmation, they will request uh, their invoices. Uh, and if you have that customer zone, uh, without requesting you, customer also can download their invoices if they require. Okay. And also sometimes in practical situation, uh, always you will receive calls from your customers. Uh, what are the outstanding invoices? What are the payments, their payments like that? So if they want, they can view online. 
Now you can view that uh, first invoice, uh, it's unpaid, uh, second one paid, like that uh, uh, you can view uh, or your customers can view their statement online and they can view what are the unpaid invoices and uh, what are the payments they have to done uh, like that those invoices they can view then uh, quotations if you have sent any quotations to your customers customers can view uh, those invoice uh, quotation details then sales orders If uh, sales orders available, it will display here. Then credit notes. Customer payments. Customer statement. That receipt numbers, uh, date, uh, payment date, invoice numbers, uh, paid amount, paid method, they can view. Then uh, their customer statement, customer can view. Uh, what are their outstanding, total outstanding. Age analysis, they can view uh, online. Uh, you can enable your accounting uh, customers on by ticking uh, here this box. If you tick this box, uh, customers on will enable and uh, there are two options, invoices and quotes only. Uh, second option, invoices and account history. If you select first option, your customers can view only uh, their invoices and quotations only. If you select second option, invoices and account history, uh, your customers can view uh, all transaction, uh, all uh, customer invoices, then uh, sales orders, quotations, customer receipts, and account history, they can view. Okay, uh, there are two options. First one, invoices and quotes only. Uh, if you select this option, customers can view uh, their only uh, their invoices and quotations. If you select second option, customer can view their invoices, quotations, sales orders, receipts, and account history. Right. And uh, display name uh, from here, you can enter your company name, uh, which should display in your customer zone. After that, uh, you can save. Okay, now you can enable uh, your customer zone. Right, next uh, we will move to general settings. First one, uh, financial years. Now from here, you can create your financial years. Now, uh, sometimes, uh, mostly in Sri Lanka, uh, financial year will be uh, April to next year, March, but some companies uh, may use January, December, or some companies, some countries' companies uh, may use uh, October to September, or July to June, like that, there may be uh, different uh, financial years. Uh, based on your company, you can create financial years from here. Okay. Uh, and one important thing, now, uh, sometimes you may implement your company for all company, or sometimes you may implement the system for new company. 
if you are implementing for new company it's straightforward you can enter uh, your financial year start date and financial year end date now for an example uh, if you are starting from uh, 1st of april uh, you are you are start your company uh, on 1st of july then you can enter your financial year start date as uh, 1st of april 2021 and uh, your financial year end date as uh, 31st march 2022 okay if you are implementing for new company or assume you are starting from uh, 1st of april you can enter financial year start date as 1st april 2021 and uh, your financial year date in date as 31st march 2022 but uh, sometimes uh, you may implement for uh, you may implement the system for all company then uh, when you are implementing for all company there may be uh, customer outstanding supply outstanding or other loans may be there now sometimes uh, your customer has outstanding more than uh, two three year old outstanding may be there uh, in that case you want to uh, enter uh, that transaction uh, in the uh, same date okay now for an example uh, if your customer has uh, outstanding from 1st of january 2020 uh, you need to enter that uh, that outstanding as uh, 1st of january 2020 date okay in that case you need to create a uh, few years uh, past few years also you need to create uh, under financial years now for an example assume uh, your customer has outstanding uh, outstanding invoice from 2017 uh, first of may 2017 that first of may 2017 it's, uh, it's under uh, this financial year uh, 2017 1st of april 2017 to 31st march 2018 uh, therefore we need to create this financial year and uh, we have to set financial years from uh, 1st april 2017 okay now in your system there may be 1st january to uh, 2022 to uh, 2021 to 1st january 2022 sorry uh, 1st january 2021 to uh, 31st december uh, 2021 you can change uh, that date by clicking here then uh, and uh, you can select from calendar and you can set uh, your financial year start date and if you want to add any financial year by clicking this plus mark you can add your financial year and if you want to remove any financial year you can uh, click this delete